plus eight equals zero. Yes, and some of you might be thinking, well, I already know the answer. Well, that's okay if you know the answer, but you're walking down the street and some kid comes up to you and asks you, hey, mister or ma'am, can you solve this problem for me? Well, this is how you're going to tell it. You say, okay, x plus eight equals zero. You're going to subtract eight from both sides, right, Charlie? Yes. Okay, and then we'll bring our bar down there, and we'll bring down our equal sign. The left-hand side gives us what, Charlie? X. And the right-hand side? Negative 8. Gives us negative 8. Very good. Okay. And so our answer is X equal negative 8. Don't forget to box your answer there. Okay. So there you go. These are uh, basic problems. Okay, let's go to our next set of problems here. 5X equals 9. Now, this is going to involve the multiplication property of equality. Okay. Basically, it says we can multiply both sides of our equation by the same number, and we can divide both sides of our equation by the same number, okay? And so in this case, notice we have 5 times x equals 9, okay? Our goal is to get 1x. Since we have 5x there, we are going to divide both sides by what, Charlie? 5. Okay, by 5. And so let's go ahead and show that, okay, in a, another step. We're di right here, we're dividing both sides by 5. Now, why do we divide by 5, Charlie? What is 5 divided by 5? 1. Okay, when those 5's cancel out, you're going to get a what? 1. You'll get a 1. So you'll get a 1x, okay? And the right-hand side is 9 over 5, which gives us our answer, 1x equals 9 over 5. Now, we write 1x as just x, okay? And don't forget to box your answer. Let's go to another one here, Charlie. Okay. Remember, our whole goal in this problem is to find the value of x. x is a variable. It's an unknown, and we've got to get 1x by itself. Now, in this problem up here, we have negative 3x equals 27. Okay. Now, to get the x by itself, we have to divide both sides, not by a 3. If we divide both sides by a positive 3, a negative 3 over a positive 3 will give you a negative 1x. You don't want a negative 1x. That's no good. You want a positive 1x. And so, Charlie, here we have negative 3x equals 27. So what do we divide both sides by, Charlie? Negative 3. Negative 3. Very good. So we'll go ahead and do that and show that right there. Negative 3x over negative 3 equals 27 over negative 3. Now, notice I'm going to write down an additional step here. And I want you to understand that negative 3 divided by negative 3 is what, Charlie? Positive 1. It will be a positive 1 because those negative 3s will cancel out to give you a positive 1 because a negative divided by negative is a positive. Okay, so anyway, the right-hand side is 27 over negative 3. And finally, we get our answer, x equals negative 9. Don't forget to box your answer there, okay? And so, moving on here. In previous lecture, we talked about combining like terms. Now, these are very simple equations, and you might be able to look at the answer and just kung fu the answer and say, well, the answer was obviously negative 9 because a negative 3 times a negative 9 gives us that 27, right? Okay. Well, we're going to look at a problem a little bit more complicated where we have to combine like terms first. Okay. So we have this problem here, 8x minus 3 plus 2x equals 2 plus 3, subtract 4. All right, Charlie, on our left-hand side, what are the like terms there? The 8x and the 2x. Okay, it is that 8x and the 2x. So when you add 8 apples plus 2 more apples, gives you how many apples, Charlie? 10 apples. Okay, so 8x's plus 2 more x's gives you 10x's. Okay, so that will combine to 10x. Now, the right-hand side, Charlie, you have 2 plus 3 <coughs> subtract 4. Can you add all those together? Add and then add, subtract. Can you combine all those together? Yes. Okay, Charlie, what is 2 plus 3 subtract 4? 1. Okay, it is a 1. So, on the left-hand side of our equation, notice we have the 10x from combining the x's, subtract 3, don't forget we had that up there, equals 1. And now we're back to the previous problems here. Okay. Now, we have 10x subtract 3. When we're solving for x, we need to get rid of that subtract 3 first. That's what you do first. got to get rid of the additions and subtractions that are attached to that x first. And then your last step is to do the divisions or multiplications, whatever you need to do. Watch. We need to get rid of that subtract 3 by doing what to both sides, Charlie? Add 3. 
and in three. Very good, Charlie. Okay, and so don't forget to bring down your bar and then your equal sign. Okay, and so on the left hand side, Charlie, don't forget that negative three and plus three will cancel, cancel. leaving you with what, Charlie? 10x. That's right, and the right hand side, you'll get four. Four. Very good. So at this point, we have 10x equals four. Now we're not done. You are done if you want to repeat this class. Remember, you've got to get the x by itself. So we know that 10x equals 4. 10 times x equals 4. And so to get the x by itself, we need to divide both sides by 10. Because 10 divided by 10 will give us that 1x. Okay, so we'll go ahead and show that. 10x divided by 10 equals 4, equals what, Charlie? 4 over 10. Now, the 10s will cancel out to give you that 1x. Now, the 4 tenths will reduce. Remember, we're in a big time now. How does 4 tenths reduce, Charlie? 2 fifths. Okay, to 2 fifths. Very good. Okay, so our answer is x equals 2 fifths. And don't forget to box your answer. There you go, Charlie. Okay. Okay, moving on here.